Mm. Ladies and gents, girls and boys, it's just going to be a quick one today, a uh, quick uh, naked sound review on this uh, Ibanez SR530 from the early 2000s. Fuji again made. And this is a. Uh, Obviously on the rear pickup, um, and that's with the uh, bass boosted. It has two band uh, EQ. It's quite a simple EQ. Um, um, PJ pickups, which um, these are um, not Al Nico, they're um, ceramic. Um, I mean, they sound okay. I think you know this is uh, basically a, a sort of a cost performance uh, model. You know. Um, in their range, uh, in terms of the Japanese builds, um, they had the sound gears, um, and then they had the uh, premium, and then they had Prestige as well, which were the uh, the highest end uh, with uh, all the beautiful exotic words and uh, third party high end pickups and all that stuff. Um, but this. Yeah, this is just one of their basics. But, um, it's a little bit sticky up the top um, compared to down here. Down here it's nice and smooth. And that is um, just because the trajectory is on this kind of level, they don't set the trajectory uh, anywhere near as uh, with with as much care or attention as they do on the uh, the higher end builds. Um, however, this is something that I can fix with a good quality wood shim, um, and it will play absolutely beautifully. Right now, though, I would say it's a little, little bit sticky up the top, which is a bit of a shame for a, a 24 fret instrument, but. Um, Ma, it's uh, I'm not going to complain for the price. Um, for the price, I think actually what you get is is really very really good. Um, so these used to cost about sixty thousand yen um, back in the day, twenty years ago. Um, and yeah, what you get is 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 very good. It's a nice rosewood fretboard on a good quality um, three piece maple neck. The truss rod in this one is still fine. Um, the neck's nice and straight, there's no warpage, you've got a graphene nut here, which is well cut, and yeah, I mean, it's achieving a nice low action up to the 12th fret, no problem. You could probably achieve a millimetre, it's 1.5 at the moment, but the thing is, you know, um, the trajectory is just, it, it just could be better, That that's all. Um, and the bridge is kind of basic, um, it does its job. It's like a copy of a 201B, but not quite as nice. Um, <coughs> I've got a 201B, I, I, I should specify. And uh, the, the pickups are a little bit microphonic being, um, um, the uh, ceramic type and the treble is kind of subtle it's there but um, the difference is, is Headroom is, is is not as wide as I would like. Let's go balanced. Yeah, you can hear it when you got the strings open, everything's up, you can hear the preamp. A little drop in the treble when you turn it down. Yeah, it's not the widest, it's it's not the widest response really on that preamp. But um quite nice. 
take the treble down. It's, it's difficult to, to really hear the difference very, very clearly. Um, It, it's quite subtle. I, I really would like for more headroom on the preamp, really. Mm, just on the treble, it would be nice if it was a little bit wider. But I mean, for the money, it's it's really not bad. Um, front pickup. Say treble right down. I mean, it actually sounds uh, not bad for a slap tone either uh, on the front pickup. Um, I mean, the pickups, they're, they're, the pickups are just, they're, n they're not the greatest pickups. But um, what I would say is that the, the great thing about this is, is the lightweight body and a very, very good neck. Um, nice tuning pegs too, by the way, the Vigotto. Um, GB sevens. Um, those are very strong points. Um, the pickups, yeah, they're just they're ma, mm, not the best. But what can you expect, you know, for the price? Um, and the preamp also saying not the best, but what can you expect for the price? Um, <coughs> but as a basis. For something to uh, upgrade, this would be absolutely excellent. Um, you know, this thing uh, will set up nice and low. Um, do need to improve the tra trajectory just a tiny bit. Like I said, that can be done. Um, so yeah, I think it's a, it's an excellent basis for uh, an instrument that you could. You know, you could upgrade it as time goes on, and you could end up having an instrument for life um, that's going to be good enough, especially if you upgrade the pickups um, and possibly the preamp. But uh, my first move would be to improve the trajectory and maybe replace. I might be tempted to replace the bridge. It's it's. It's not the best bridge, it's 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 just simple. Um does the job, but I love the tuners, I love the shape of the neck, um I love the playability up to around the 14th fret is good, then it starts to get a little bit sticky. Um, um like I said, just because the tra trajectory isn't ideal. But you know, I'm not gonna complain for uh you know the money, sixty thousand yen. Um is really not a lot of money for something that has such a good quality neck and nice uh, it's got good fret work too um yeah fuji again always do a good job with their necks nice and consistent good materials and they last a lot long as well 20 years and this is still going strong trust rod is fine so yeah so that'll do it guys uh, that's my verdict on this one I would give it, uh, for the money, I would give it a, uh, probably an 8 out of 10, something like that. Um, yeah, 
it, it's definitely a, a, a great um, cheap bass uh, with a reliable neck that will make a, a very, very good basis for um, upgrading as time goes on. Um, and once it's upgraded, it's going to be great, fantastic. All right, cheers, guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Have a good one. If you find my videos useful, by the way, please do hit like and subscribe as it really helps. All right. Wishing you all the best. Stay funky.